everyone. <laughs> I thought I would come on and um, read you guys some poetry. And I have not been writing a lot of poetry recently. Poetry is a big passion of mine. I love poetry. I love free verse. I love Instagram poetry. I follow a lot of um, good poets on Instagram and I love to write poetry. And I think in 2020, I posted a lot of poetry. It was a into 20, end of 2020 into 2021, I wrote a lot of poetry all the time um, and it became a big part of my life. And I've always been writing poetry on and off, just like music. It's kind of like, I want to make it more, I want to be more consistent, but I feel like I've always been very like on and off. I, I um, dive into my passions, but I want to get back into poetry and I want to post poetry on Instagram more for sure. And I want to also read poetry because that's something I'm not comfortable with. I always, I feel like I used to love um, poetry just being read in my own head and I didn't like uh, that rhymed poem. Uh, we already have a poem, no, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, I used to think that uh, poetry, poetry should only be read on the paper and I can still feel that way. Um, but I recently feel like poetry should be read out loud more and I want to experiment with that and, and read my poems out loud because I usually don't like them read out loud. I think I I want to I I wrote poetry in 2020. That's like this is only poetry you read in your own head, and that's the poetry I like. But I want to experiment more with I don't know, not necessarily spoken, well spoken, but not slam poetry. I, I thought I was gonna say slam poetry, but spoken poetry and, and a poem just read out loud can sometimes feel more personal because especially when it's from the actual poet who wrote it so um it it has taken it, it took me a while to get to this point where it's like i'm gonna get comfortable now with reading poetry out loud but it is something i'm gonna try to do and i'm not a vlogger but if i ever make some sort of vlog I definitely want it to be about something creative that I have a passion that I want to talk about that's like my own art, artistic work or something so um that that's that's what I'm gonna do so um I'm gonna I'm gonna read a lot of 2020 poetry that I have never read out loud before uh in 2021 poetry but I I'm gonna start off with something I wrote this summer and I think it's a good one and I think when I when I I try to read it <laughs> I tried to read this one before um, and it went well, but I want to do it again because I want to make this video one more time because um, I want to make it as good as I can and I can definitely see that my poetry has improved so much since 2020 because I think my style with poetry, now my songwriting and, and poetry just became so different at some point, especially in the pandemic and just with poetry I, I grew to love more abstract. You don't really know what it's about, you just feel the poem and feel the emotions and the mood, but what it's actually about is something I can talk about if I really go into it, but as I write it, it's just from an emotional place and it's just an abstract, an abstract feel and um, using imagery that just paints kind of a picture in your head, but the sort of message maybe isn't so obvious, but um, I, I read some of my 2020 poetry now in 2022. It's hard to say 2020. <laughs> it's hard to say that sometimes. Um, but I, I read some of my 2020 poetry and I can definitely tell that like I'm going somewhere it has its potential. And some of them are good. Like I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's, it only has potential and it's not good. But it's I can definitely see that like improvements have been made since then. Um, I was definitely like a lot of us maybe because of the pandemic I was in a confused place and maybe that's why I wrote a little bit of like conf confused kind of abstract stuff um, while now it's kind of like I'm coming from a more clear-headed space not always but sometimes but I think with songwriting I don't like abstract poetic songs I think I, I like a uh, very clear kind of like if it's a country song I like it to be very like not too much vague imagery in a country song. I think it's like, this is the message, this is what I'm trying to talk about. It's clear from the beginning, kind of like well, where it's heading-ish. Um, but with poetry, and maybe that's because I've been reading a lot of 
Virginia Woolf's uh, stream of consciousness style, the pandemic and the waves, for instance, for in, you know, for instance, um, and I just like it was just in a whole different like my country music songwriting is more clear what it's about. It's more about real life, but the sort of well, I guess that poetry is too, but it's it's the the abstract poetry is more. You feel it, you don't need to know exactly what it's about. It's, yeah. So I'm gonna start with a recent one, um, and it's called, it's called uh, Let Me Write a Poem Again. And I think it just kind of comes from that place. I used to write a lot and then I stopped, but let's try again. And, and it's kind of like, a, let's make the comeback stronger than like anything. And then maybe you can apply that to life, like make the comeback from a hard time um, something really good and like you'll come back stronger from a hard time so it's I think that's kind of the theme and the message maybe you shouldn't say that maybe you, you should figure out that for yourselves um but I think that's since it's kind of like it's uh, more obvious and that's it but I don't know I don't know if it is I'm just gonna read the poems I don't think I'm gonna explain them I can't I hate I gotta be honest I love poetry I love just sitting in silence and reading poetry whether it's a famous poet that a famous poem that everyone kind of knows of um or it's poetry on instagram i don't like analyzing in a very like rational brain or like in a very um i don't like analyzing poetry and i'm not good at it i know i you know i studied literature i have a bachelor's bachelor's degree in literature but for some reason i um i don't like analyzing poetry i love when poetry just is and you just sit in quiet and feel it but I'm I don't know I've never been good at analyzing poetry I just pref I, that, that's why I like it silently just in my head as I when I read a poem I just like I just want to feel it I don't want to explain it I, I just want to write my own poem and then look at it and just feel but I don't want anyone or, to ask me what it's about even if I kind of know it does it's not always that these abstract poems are kind of like I don't know what they're about because I do but I don't like to I don't know I don't want to I don't know how it sounds I don't you shouldn't explain art but um uh because like with music I'm more kind of like let's analyze this and talk about this but with 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 a certain like stream of consciousness style um sometimes maybe i'm still a little bit like that i don't like to explain it a lot but some poems here i might explain but there are certain kind of like 2020 maybe we should look at the 2020 poems and actually try to uh, i will try to kind of see what they might be about but um i'm just gonna go into it i'm just gonna start with one from 2022 and this is Maybe last month, maybe, I don't know, time, when did anything happen ever? Um, but I think this is uh, uh, May or June-ish um, this year. Let me write a poem again. Let me write a poem again, as the autumn winds howl for me. Let me sting with a whisper that the rushing leaves are back. Let me come back to the paper with bleeding hands and weary thoughts, just to be reborn and just to want to play, sing a say just to watch us fly away. Let me write the worry here again, but let me read it without fear, just to find the strength to give, to sing and sway and find a way. Let me come back to the poem again, as the autumn winds make it brave. Let me read the poem with ease and forget where I ever stood in the first uncertain breeze. This one is called Looking Through the Window. And I think it's from this year, but I'm not sure. Maybe last year, this year? I don't know. Looking Through the Window. I am looking through the window, searching for the sweet used to bees. I am searching for a stain, a shadowy romance in vain. This unquiet remain, a familiar lie, one to remind me of an idle why. So I only burn my heart, I am only wasting time. You're the best and the worst pain, you spin on and land softly in the rain. And I am looking through the window, thinking of the blue skies we've had. I am still holding on, 
I turn and you're gone. This is the freedom known to sting, the silent fade away that'll win. You know, I think that's pretty clear what, what, what it could be about, of course, a romance or someone fading away from you, a relationship. Um, so yeah, as I say, like 2022 poetry, I'm more clear-headed, I know what I'm talking about a lot more. But I think for the next one I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for something from 2020 when I wrote in this very uh, abstract way where I didn't really know what it, what it, what it was about and you were just supposed to feel it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find one of those on my computer. So I, I wrote two poems um, in the fall of 2020 and I wasn't super aware of what they were about. I just went with the imagery and the abstract feel, as I call it, and just stream of consciousness, not really too aware of what I was doing. And I don't think I was. I think my poetry has kind of, you know, improved over time because I've been more like, what am I doing? How is, what is the flow? How, what's the flow like? Um, what am I trying to say? Because back then it was just, I was being very experimental. I think fall of 2020 was like, we've just kind of started in a way. Of course, I wrote poems before, but this is like, let's try to do this more like seriously and like take it seriously. Um, and but at, at that point, it was just so much just trying to find my style. And 2020 was just, extreme stream of consciousness experimental uh, era but of course there are still good things there but I would I look back at some of them now and a lot of them I would rewrite uh, maybe not a lot but like enough to make people understand maybe a little bit more what I'm talking about but I still like a lot of them um, I'm just more fond of the recent stuff but that's just like I feel like any, everyone kind of Everyone has that. It's just like we're always obsessed with the recent thing we made. Um, but the first draft, I wrote two. And the first draft and the last draft, I just thought those were cool titles. And I would just... Here we are. So the first draft. I've seen an apology climb around the towers of my lonely mind. She'll twist and turn around your eulogy. Reckless and silent, our little apology. Unheard of. Such a big mess of words. These words. They'll always drop dead at any distant. Reckless, yes. Silent, no. A thunderbolt, my insight. I wish I saw all of my insincerity the way dust does. A long and winding road of trying to find any empathy. But it always fades away coldly in the cold November rain. So, I think back then it was a lot of just imagery play and, um, you know, uh, word, just like sound play, <laughs> word play, and just like noise, mm, noise, that's not true, but like just making it sound like it is about something, but it's uncertain, but it sounds like it's like, I always love the idea at the end to just make it sound like it was about something very deep and important, but I didn't really know what I, I didn't know what I, I had no idea. But of course, like I always, I, you know, I need to give myself more credit because that's sometimes I just thought that that's how it was. But of course I see that, of course, this is about something. <laughs> um, but it is about letting go. That's all I can say. Of course, I understand that now. Like I have that, like all of my 2020 poetry was about nothing at all. I was just not like, it. it, it is because like you improve. So you're like, oh, it was, it's it's better now and therefore that's not as good or whatever so I think that's just like being artistic in any way we always like when we're always improving a lot the first things we made aren't as good or it's like we want to change shit because we have a new way of doing things now but of course I, I I see this one's good I wouldn't change this one but I'm just saying like it is about letting go but I do I I, I became in a way if you can say it if it doesn't sound like I'm complimenting myself in some way I did like try my hardest to be very advanced with imagery and I would kind of like stop thinking about you know is the message getting through um, and I think it, it comes through but nowadays I pay attention to as much as I can when I'm writing poetry it's like it's not just like sometimes it is but when I'm like trying to really make it 
finished and, and as good as it can. I try to like, is the message coming through? Um, does it flow in a nice way? Is it easy to read in different tones? If someone were to read it in a different tone than what it was intended, as it was intended to, you know, if it's just on Instagram and I, I'm not reading it anywhere. Um, and um, have I have I uh, paid attention to like line breaks enough? Because sometimes you just like you're blind to the poem when you read it. And I think back then I definitely was sometimes. But I still like this one. But of course, like I am way more. Um, I'm trying to be more simple in a way because like I can tend to, and I think it's just like a creativity I worked on and I can't give myself credit for that. I just like will sometimes work like at a advanced level I guess you could say with like imagery and making it very like try to avoid cliches and try to avoid um, saying something in a very simple way but I try my hardest now to say things be advanced with the imagery in the way that I, I worked on trying to be, but also um, still be able to be simple at the same time. And I think that's that's kind of the challenge a lot of time with poetry. I need to change the battery. And so <laughs> I'm gonna do the last draft uh, too, because I wrote one called the first draft and I was like, what if I write one called the last draft? And I kind of tie it to the first poem. Um, so. The last draft is also, it's also a poem that's very abstract in its own way and it's a little hard to find the meaning and as I said before, I try to write with more intention now so that other people who uh, are reading my poetry can like spot the message more and like what it's about uh, more easily. But this is 2020, 2020 poems here so we're trying to be more vague but it's it's supposed to be and i think that's fine too if you want to write that and just go with the emotion that's like you know the poet each to their own and that's what i wanted to do at that time but now i'm doing things a little differently but this is the last draft i tremble as i close a chapter a heavy mission my world turns blue for a split second but red for an entire season my heart catches the fire I have desired for years. My world drops blue, crashes, rises, boldly, in the in-between. I shake as I open up a new door, a heavy door. My soul turns grey for a minute, but bright yellow, for a forever so wide I cannot ever comprehend it. I wish I saw myself the way I will be tomorrow. Why? I have locked a turbulence erased the dead heartache so I will be honest and tell you guys I worked with just imagery at that time and I think that's fine like it all takes practice and sometimes we practice one thing but the other things we don't practice as much because we're focusing on one thing but I was focusing mostly on on just advancing the imagery and I think I've been doing that creatively for years I love to just work with an imagery that's just, it's not cliches, it's more, um, I'm just trying to be more, uh, just, just work, working on a different level with imagery and just trying to make it more advanced and just like playing with the words, but it's, it's just, yeah, it becomes a bit different and that's what I've been trying to do and that's been kind of the intention, but it, I think maybe it's a little bit clear here too that this is about um, letting go and moving on to the next thing. Well, I think the first draft was more about just uh, letting go and moving on, but this is also about letting go and moving on, but also moving into the new, uh, the new chapter and the, and the new life. So that's, that's the message here. And um, just like, yeah, my soul turns gray for a minute. I think that's like, we're in a gray, gray area now but it will be yellow and I think like gray is kind of like you know it's a color that's associated with you know we're kind of uncertain or it's like sad but it's not black because black can be more about just deep sadness you know you wear black at funerals but like gray is more like we're in a gray area it's kind of like we're in a foggy cloud and we don't know when it's either gonna rain or it's gonna be sunshine so it's like you're in a gray area you don't know what's gonna come next but 
yellow is, you know, yellow is considered psycho psychologically as the happiest color, usually. So, um, yeah, bright, bright yellow, like it's, we're in a gray area now and we're closing a chapter, but we're going to head into a sunny one, a bright yellow one the next time. So that's, that's the message there. Um, so I'm just going to try to find something else, something else from 20. So this is a poem from, um, I think it's from last year, to be honest, but I just found it and I like it. And it's, it's along the lines of, I don't know really the title, I've been back and forth with, with the title in this one, but it's about like learning how to be selfish. I don't think that's the title, but it's on being selfish. I think the title is on being selfish, uh, on selfishness. I don't think that's a word, but on, or is it, is selfishness a word? I was just thinking about that, selfishness. That's a word? Yes, it's a word. I just didn't know. I'm supposed to be good with language and things, but I was like, is selfishness a word? It is. Um, but on selfishness, or you could call this poem um, on being selfish. So, and it's supposed to be very like fierce and kind of like I'm making up my mind and I'm taking back control of my life. So that that's that's what's happening and you're just telling someone no you can't just come in here and, and um, yeah mess things up this is my life I think that's what I mean on selfishness I am not the door to your forever or the window to your oath you cannot build a heart here or squeeze a thank you through lips remote I am not the stillness you seek or your muse in my posts I do not portray your words like footprints in motion. I'll never freeze a fantasy like you'll never mirror my own dream. So that's that one. Okay, I'm gonna try to find some. I promised to like compare 2020 with 2022 recent stuff. So I'm gonna find something from 2020. So this, <laughs> this video is already too long. So I think I'm just gonna end with two more um, and then I'm going to finish the video and come back and read more poetry another day because like I've been talking too much. I wanted to read like 15 poems quickly, but it's been a lot of in-between talk, but I felt like that was necessary. This is Cliffhanger, I think from last year. Cliffhanger. Unseeing madness, a common satisfaction, torn between shreds, wish a wish away. Can I leap astray? Is a song worth singing? What's the line between dark and dead? I'll take my time and move from an all, while the clouds drift, yellow and tall. Take me away, show me bluer horizons, the west coast be new, the east overdue. We will talk about love, play a say, a day. I'll come back in your name, dare my way. And so you burn a blue on cue, uncommon. Draw attention on the brim, spill to dim. This one is called Side Note. Paint that word in the margin. It must just be a little silent side note. Nothing but hanging on the edge of a story. Somebody somewhere on one cold afternoon. So, select your favorite absence. Walk the talk in the chill, windy nowhere. Paint the quiet word in the margin. Make up a cold blue side note. A sweet sigh high, so bright on the edge, edge of the story. A bizarre thought coming, isn't it? This mess is merely in the margin. And so the word will suffocate in the in-between of a broken heart while pushing the skylight to the sidelines in the pale gleam of the rain. But I'm gonna finish with uh, one called In the Ice of the Rainstorm and then this video is over. This video is too long, that's okay. I'm gonna make long video videos, that's fine. But this is In the Ice of the Rainstorm. Every raindrop was worth loving. Every umbrella told a tale, a yellow mystery. And with a dream folding its arms, the darkest climb hung over the soul. The muddy path, love like an echo, the cloud a comfort. And I shake my sad song, still every second lingers. The day like the bravest farewell. 
it will not be unmade in the ice of the rainstorm. Because this is the story. Every soaked footstep fuels my sun. Every splash like a string of hope. So that's enough. I kind of just like picked poems as I went with it. I couldn't um, kind of make up my mind um, a lot on which poem I wanted to read or not. I had in the beginning planned which I thought I was just going to read three but something about making a little vlog uh, was fun and it's just it, it's it's fun. It's fun to make vlogs. I always tell myself that's not what I want to do on YouTube and it's not really. I just see YouTube as a place to put up music um, and just put up um, artistic things like poetry and, and writing and singing um, whenever I want to and I want to do that a lot but sometimes I can kind of vlog and show personality and, and have fun with that too because life has been so incredibly lonely and weird since the pandemic hit a lot of people can relate and I always love to have people on the internet that I can just watch that I can just watch and feel like they are there for me even if you know I don't know them or talk to them in real life or whatever but that's very important sometimes to have that relationship even if you know I don't like the influencer world you're living in I never have um I don't like kind of the you have numbers and I don't and therefore I'm better or like even if you know I don't but uh, but it's just like any everything which is social media sometimes is stressful and some people um being this and that and I don't know I don't always understand my own time a lot but I can still just be the way I am and just put out the things that I want to put out and that's when it's less scary to be on the internet when you don't conform and you just you write the way you write and if that makes you happy you you do you in this world of craziness and and extravaganza and even like bad stuff happening in the world or whatever but um just be creative and have fun and be you um this is not a motivational speech and that kind of video but i'm just saying it, it made me happy to make a little vlog i'm gonna make more whenever it 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 hits me i'm definitely gonna make more vlogs and write more poetry because i kind of stopped stopped in june um i've been very overwhelmed with um university and and everything and just the future i don't know what my future is gonna be uh and what it's gonna look like yet but um i wanna be creative i wanna be a creative person for sure and that's that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm never gonna be an influencer. I'm never gonna be a YouTuber. But I'm I'm always gonna be a writer and a poet and a singer songwriter and a uh, artist. In both, like, a, I'm a singer type artist, but I also want to be like an artist. So that's what I'm here for. Um, yeah, and that's that's the fun stuff. And I love I love doing this. This was fun. I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna. Um, try to get myself some more energy and then I'm just gonna go into this a lot more and just have fun with it. But thank you for watching. Um, hope you're having a good summer. Uh, write poetry if you write poetry on Instagram and, and we don't know each other. Or like I know you on YouTube but I didn't know you were on Instagram. Singing, writing, whatever it is you do but we're friends on here then let me know. And we could be friends on Instagram too because that's usually where I am. So yes. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.